Good morning, Lisa here. Welcome back to my channel. I guess it's not morning for everybody. So good afternoon or evening if you're somewhere else right now. But I wanted to welcome you back to hashtag 31 days of witchcraft. I'm already like staring off into the distance. <laughs> this is what I do apparently in these rambly videos is I look everywhere but at the camera. But it's partly because where I'm sort of pulling over to do these videos on my way to work in the morning is very green and pretty and I I'm just looking at it. Anyway, today's question is if I incorporate environmental sustainability and, oh, there was another word. I literally read it right before opening this video. Could I remember? No. I almost reached for my coffee, but it's already tucked away. <laughs> anyway, okay, so this is an area, this is probably going to be a very short video, because this is an area in my practice where I feel like I could do so much better. Um so much better. I try to incorporate in general uh, sustainable practices in my life, but I won't say that I'm even halfway to where I could be with, with all of that. When it comes to my actual craft, I try very hard. Anything that's, that's specifically witchy or magical, I try to be extra conscious if that makes sense, um, or more mindful. <sighs> Or maybe it's just, maybe it's not even that I'm trying to be more mindful. Maybe just when it comes to anything related to my practice, I just think about it in a more natural way. Like it doesn't take as much thinking to remember, you know what I mean? To remember, to prioritize it. It's hard to describe because I feel very strongly about these things and I'm still not always where I want to be. I have mindless moments where I just don't think. And it's more of that distractible um stuff where I don't make the decision I wish I would have made or I look back and I go, why did I do that? I could have done blah, you know, and it's easy for me to kind of be hard on myself about stuff like that. But I try very hard to, when it comes to my magical practice, everything gets purposed or repurposed. Um, I try to work with a lot of organic type, that, not um, organic, how do I say this right? Organic matter, like organic materials, right? Like things that break down. Um, I love repurposing things from around the house. I love repurposing general household items. I got very excited by Danny Mystic's video on the toilet paper roll magic because I thought that was damn. I just couldn't decide whether I was going to swear or not. So I, I did a hybrid. Anyway, I was, I thought that was so creative and so exciting and so such a great way to reuse like toilet paper rolls. If I remember, I will have a link to that video down below because I think it's brilliant. And I think there's a part one and a part two, if I remember right. Um, I thought that was great, but I've done toilet paper magic uh, where you flush, um, which again, not the most environmentally conscious way to do magic, but definitely better than some things. Um, and I think it's why I like to do magic that breaks down. I think it's one of the reasons I like doing fire magic because when you take a small piece of paper um, and you write something on it and then you break that down into ash, there's no, like there's nothing that remains, right? Um, I like working with things that I know are going to break down because most of my spells and magic that I create is meant to be alchemized in some way. It's meant to be transformed. It's meant to be broken down. It's meant to turn into something else. Um, but I do find myself like even small things like when I get a witchy subscription box, the boxes get reused. If they can't get, they, usually they get reused. I've got spots in my home where I'll use the boxes to store different items, but if not, they, they definitely get broken down and recycled properly. Um, the contents of the box all gets used. The little pouches turn into sachets that I might fill with items and tuck around my home The or to keep small things in. Even the little, and this is probably my favorite example, even the little twine bits that wrap up the parchments that come um, in those witches moon or witches, and right now I'm getting the witches roots box. Um, even those bits of twine I keep because those are wonderful for doing any kind of like tying up little scrolls for spells. It's a natural material, which means I don't worry about it burning. If I use it in a fire spell, you can do knot magic, things like that. So I try to always repurpose those. And yeah, I think that's where it comes into play the most. I'll do planting spells uh, where you focus on a seed or a plant, or you even write a petition and put it into a potted plant and then you grow that. You grow that. It's wonderful for expanding magic. But when it comes to my actual craft, I definitely try to be extremely mindful about what I'm using. And if I can repurpose something, I do that. I very rarely, outside of like, I would say what I get in like subscription boxes and things like that, I don't really buy 
spell materials. Um, most of the time I, I use what's, what's around the house, whether that's a, um, like a piece of paper to write. Most of my magic is actually very simple. Um, very simple. So that's, I think one of the nice things is that I'm not cre my, I definitely feel comfortable in saying that I create as little waste as possible when I'm doing my craft. Um, it's just that in general in my life, I know I could do so much better. So I'm still, it's something I'm working on and I'm trying to be more aware of. And I love our mama earth and I want her to be strong and, and good for as long as possible. So I definitely try to keep that in mind, have the impact that I can have. Um, yeah, so not as short as I thought, but still pretty short. Anyways, thank you so much for hanging out with me for today's, uh, I keep saying episode. I can't break the habit. Anyway, of 31 Days of Witchcraft, tomorrow's prompt um, will be tomorrow. This is the kind of stuff I say when I'm not awake. I will see you guys in the next video. Please remember to like, share, subscribe. Remember to visit Heather Carter's channel, which is linked down below, uh, where you can see all the prompts. You can see her responses, which I've been really enjoying watching. And lots of other people are participating. I think that if you search that hashtag, you'll see lots and lots of videos right now of people participating in this tag, which I think is just fantastic. Um, but yeah, subscribe before you go. And if you would like to book a reading, you can do that with me over at www.supportivetarot.com. See you in the next one. Bye.